we'll be learning seven input devices in computer graphics systems so the first one we are going to learn is keyboard what is keyboard keyboard is an alphanumeric uh, keyboard on a graphic system which is primarily used as a device for entering text so it looks somewhat like this okay you can you have seen it with your pc or your laptop even on your mobile phones the keyboard is an efficient device for inputting such non graphic data such as picture labels associated with graphic display so basically we don't input any graphic data with keyboard what we input is non graphic data such as letters numbers symbols etc keyboards can also be provided with feature to enter screen coordinates menu selection etc for example you have arrow buttons on your computer you have function buttons uh, f1 f2 f3 etc on your keyboard keyboards are also used for computer gaming so most of you who have played computer games you use either your keyboard with your mouse or only keyboard for playing the games other types of cursor positioning devices such as trackball or joystick are also included on some keyboard additionally a numeric keypad is often included on the keyboard for fast entry of numeric data you must have seen there are numbers on your keyboard like 1 2 3 till 0 and also plus minus signs so that is that second device is mouse a mouse is a small handheld device used to position the screen cursor wheels or rollers on the bottom of the mouse can be used to record the amount of direction of movement of the cursor so we record how much the mouse has moved and then relatively move, we move the cursor of our pointer okay cursor or the pointer the optical sensor detects movement across the lines in the grid right now you can see this is the cursor of my mouse and i am moving it of course you cannot see my mouse but you can see how the movement is so i am doing this movement with the help of the mouse it is basically used for positioning the cursor so this is how a mouse looks you guys have seen it physically a mouse consists of an object held in one's hand with one or more buttons most of them have like two buttons or maybe three mice often also features other elements such as touch surface and wheels you must have seen the wheels which we enable uh, which enable additional control and dimensional input like we use wheel for the scrolling purpose okay then the third one is trackball and spaceball a trackball is a ball that can be rotated with fingers or a palm of the hand to produce cursor movement so basically it's like a mouse only but over here we are rotating the ball with our palm or fingers so how it works is there is a potentiometer attached below this to the trackball okay so how much we move the trackball over here with our palm or ball that is measured and the direction of the rotation and a the angle everything is measured and then recorded and then accordingly the cursor is moved so this is similar to a mouse but except uh, instead of moving this thing we just rotate the ball over here in the mouse we actually move the mouse but in a trackball we are just rotating the ball now let's take a look at space ball okay space ball looks somewhat like this while a trackball is 2d positioning device a space ball provides 3d positioning device so over here we have like six directions in 3d okay uh, a space ball does not actually move so like over here you can see in trackball uh, the ball actually moves but in space ball it does not actually move okay a space ball does not actually move strain gauge is measured the amount of pressure applied to the space ball to provide positioning details so basically how much pressure we apply in which direction is measured using the strain gauge okay you make sure that you remember these words because in the examination point of view these words are something that is that are going to give you the marks okay so these are important words like strain gauge and 3d positioning okay space walls are used for 3d three dimensional positioning and selection operations in virtual reality systems and animation systems okay so they are used basically in virtual reality systems animation system basically cad systems where you actually have 3d image and you want to explore the 3d area okay there we use space balls 
The fourth one is joystick guys. A joystick is an input device consisting of a stick that pivots on the base and reports its angle or direction to the device it's controlling. So basically a joystick is a stick that is mounted on a base okay and the movement is measured and then reported to the controlling device okay joystick are often used to control video games and usually have one or more push buttons whose state can also be read by the computer so it has one or more buttons and it is used for mostly playing video games okay this is how joysticks look potentially they, they have the similar concept uh, just like our trackball okay but what is the difference is potential mounted at the base of the joystick measure the amount of movement and the springs return the stick to the center position when it is released so basically trackball you are just rotating the ball with your palm or your hand or fingers okay but over here you have a stick and with the help of that stick you are rotating the ball and once the stick is released with the help of the spring it comes back to the original position of the center position okay joystick are also used for controlling machines such as cranes and trucks etc yeah they use joystick for controlling this stuff guys like you might have seen cranes using joysticks now fifth one is image sensor scanners sorry so image scanner is a device that optically scans images printed text and hidden writing or an object and converts it to a digital image once we have the internal representation of the picture we can apply transformations to rotate it or scale it or to crop the picture to a particular screen size so basically image scanner is something that is used to scan images or printed text or handwriting or an object and convert it to a digital image you must have seen xerox machines or actual image scanners xerox machine has two things that is it scans and then it prints but usually scanners are used only for scanning and then storing it digitally okay now touch panels now touch panels most of us are used to it guys our smartphones are having touch panels so it's kind of touch panel only a touch panel allow displayed objects or screen positions to be selected with the touch of finger user can give input or control the information processing system through simple or multi touch gestures by touching the screen with a special stylus or one or more fingers so basically our smartphones are uh, touch panels guys or type of touch panels i'll say so older uh, touch screen phones used to have those stylus that used to come with it nowadays we have uh, we don't mostly use the stylus but like we use one finger or more than one finger you must have seen multi touch uh, gestures are there on phone like it supports like 10 finger touches and all this is a modern technology guys the touch screen enables the user to interact directly with what is displayed rather than using a mouse or touch pad or any other such device so basically what is the advantage guys you don't need an external device for the control you can actually control the device by touching just the screen and the object that you are seeing on the screen so how does it work guys the opposite vertical and horizontal edges contains light detectors so basically it has like grids of lines and vertical and horizontal edges they have light detectors so and it has light emitters also like ir light emitters okay so these detectors are used to record which beams of light are interrupted with the panel when the panel is touched so basically when a finger is touched to the screen what happens is that light that is emitted uh, mostly it is ir light that is emitted once it goes back and interrupted like when you are putting your finger on top of the screen what happens is the light gets uh, deflected back so and it is detected by the detectors so they record where at what position it is happening okay so that's how touch screen works or touch panel works the last one and seventh one is light pens guys light pens are pencil shaped devices that are used to select screen position by detecting the light coming from the points on the crt screen it allows the user to point to displayed objects or to uh, draw on the screen in a similar way to a touch screen but but with greater positional accuracy of course guys because it's like a light pen and crt it gives much more accuracy because of the simple reason that it has pixel positions marked properly 
and like it can detect the light pen's position at the exact coordinate because a pen is always having a small tip as compared to our finger guys so it gives much more precision a light pen detects a change of brightness of the nearby screen pixels when scanned by cathode ray tube electron beam and communicates the timing of this event to the computer so basically when like the one scan of the system uh, that is a uh, let's say this is a screen phosphor coated screen okay it refreshes guys so once it is refreshing per second like so suppose now it has refreshed at that time it will mark the position where it has detected the change in the brightness of the pixel okay so once it detects the change in the pixel it records it and sends it to the system the first light pen was created around in 1955 guys okay it was part of the whirlwind project at mit but because the user was required to use their hand and hold their arm in front of the screen for a long period of time potentially causing gorilla arm or to use a desk that tilts the monitor the light pen fell out of use as general purpose input device basically these were the disadvantages guys the user had to actually hold his arm in front of the computer for a long period of time or else he had to invert the screen and put it down and then use it so that's why it was just like not preferred by people for use so that's it for today guys we are done with the information about seven important graphical input devices for computer if you like this video please hit that like button please subscribe if you have any doubt please feel free to ask in comment section below thank you guys for watching see you in the next one